Hey, hey, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. How are you doing tonight? I'm so excited to get on and share with you. Tonight, I am focusing on the stitched label, nested stitch label dies. These are some of my favorite and they are retiring. I am so sad that these dies are no longer gonna be available. So tonight, I want to show you three of my go-to card layouts that are so easy um, using the stitch nested label dies. If you don't have them yet, you definitely want to get these um, before they're going away. And I was just looking at the calendar, two weeks, you have two weeks, maybe a couple days less, two days less than two weeks um, in order to get these before they go away in any of the last chance deals. So we've been, we've been over these like so many times. I feel like I have been um, <laughs> showing you this list like um, every video, but seriously, these deals are so good. Um, this, the stitched label dies are not like a, you know, holy cow deal. And so I think that's why I've put them off because I've been so busy showing you other stuff. But um, these are still a great deal because they're on sale. And if you don't have them yet, you're definitely going to want them. Hi, everybody. I'm so excited. I can see your comments tonight. Yay. I don't know what I did different but I, I see you. I see you all. I'm so glad you're here with me. Oh my gosh. These, I, I've got lights on my desk so that you can see me well, and they just seem extra hot tonight. Whew. Should have changed. I <laughs> should have changed out of it. My long sleeves and put something on. Well, I've been busy. I had stamp club last night and, um, and this morning. So, um, I'm doing in-person stamp club and we're, we have a, a larger table and trying to space out a little bit. So I just wanted to show you the projects that we made this week. So, um, I wanted to use some stuff that's retiring. So I used that favorite ornate garden designer paper, and we made this one with the posted for you, um, stamp set. It has the matching, um, rectangle, rectangular postage punch. And the punch is going to carry over, but the stamp set's not. So if you really like this um, stamp set, then you want to make sure that you get that. You can get it in a bundle right now with the punch. Um, so I was showing that off, and we've got the um, Ornate Garden ribbon, or ribbon, designer paper. Um, and then we sh I, I did this one last week. Do you guys remember? You guys, you helped me with the colors. And um, I just wanted to show you, in case you didn't see, I made some changes. So I added a vellum border. Isn't that really pretty? I think it totally makes the card. Um, I cut it in half because it was too long and then I just like overlapped in the middle. I took the pearls off. I added some twine and then a subtle change, but I really like it. Instead of the terracotta tile for the outline, I changed it to Cajun Craze. And so that really pops. I don't know, have the other one next to me right now to show you, but this is how that card turned out last week after I tweaked it some more. So we made this card and we made this one. Can you see our theme? olive and calypso coral and then the other one we made is with the curvy quite curvy bundle from the mini catalog and we did a little gatefold card and added some sahara sand so uh, i wish that you all lived close and you could stamp with me in person but this is the next best thing i'm so glad that you joined me today so i was doing this last night i was doing this this morning with my stampers and then after that, I had to get some swaps in the mail. Um, and so I want to show you the swap I made. So we have the new catalog coming up, you know. And um, so this swap was for new catalog stuff. So this is a little sneak peek. I'm really excited with the way it turned out. Let me listen to this stamp set. Oh, oh, here it is. <laughs> reaching down. I wasn't planning to grab the product. I used the Beauty of the Friendship stamp set and some of the gorgeous coordinating paper. And I know I owe you guys some quick look videos, but the truth is I haven't had a chance to play with my new stuff very much. Like I haven't made anything that I haven't already showed you. So I was excited to play with some stuff and make this card for my swap for the Impeccables um, team mail and swap. Do you see the wink of Stella? Um, Margo was here and I was kind of pulling things together and I kept, kept saying, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? What do you think of this? And, <laughs> and finally after the last thing, she goes, I think you're good. Uh, and she said, maybe add some Wink of Stella. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. 
And I just love the way it looks like snow. So each card is a little bit different. So hopefully if you're participating in the Impeccables um, team swap, then you're um, hopefully you'll get one of mine. Hopefully I'll get one of yours. I can't wait. They're in the mail right now to Mary. Swapping is one of my favorite things to do as a demonstrator. I think I feel like I say that all the time. It's my favorite thing to do. It's my favorite perk of being a demonstrator. But seriously, there are so many reasons I love being a demonstrator and swapping is one of them. So you make a bunch of the same card, you swap with other people who made a bunch of their card, and then you get a whole bunch of different ideas. And so I always love to share those swaps with you. In fact, I've been doing another swap, a one for one swap, and I, those cards have been coming in the mail. And um, I can't wait to show you. I'm not gonna get into that tonight. We're not gonna do new stuff. Um, but when I do those quick look videos, I'll have some extra samples to share with you. The cards are really awesome. Tonight, we're going to focus on the stitched nested label dies because they're just so awesome and they deserve one last hurrah before they go away because they're going to be tiring. Um, okay, I said I could see your comments and now I'm not paying attention. Have you ever used that long piece in the die set? You know what? I have not actually. Um, did I? I'm trying to think now. Maybe I did. So it the long one is... Um, it's just the stitch to go across. So you can do that as an accent on your card. Um, you could do that if you wanted to like um, cut your shape off and make like um, a rectangle. You could die cut it. Well, here, like here's an example. So this one's already die cut. I think, and I feel like I've done it like this before um, to, to, to die cut and, and get that that same border like to cut off and make a rectangle. So the really fun thing about these dies, let me show you, let's get Lucy out really quick and one run one through to show you what these look like. Cause these dies are really, they're so special. Like I, I really am sad that they're going away. But I, I say that, but we also have some really amazing dies that are coming. So that's what happens. You have to say goodbye to some to say hello to new ones. So let's run this through the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And um, most of these are gonna fit through the mini machine. Um, I think I've die cut mine ahead of time so that I won't have to die cut them while we're on. But um, here's what I wanted to show you. We've got the, um, the sort of double border and this is what it looks like. You get the stitched border on the piece that comes out, but also on the piece that's left behind. So that is really cool because you have like two pieces that you can use that have that fun de decorative stitching on it. So we're gonna take advantage of that and uh, one of our cards, we're gonna use both the negative and um, the label to kind of go inside. You're gonna see, it's really fun. So take notes tonight. I'll be sure to include the measurements as well in the description of the video when we're all done because um, you're definitely gonna want to try these cards and make them at home. They're really so much fun. And here is the item number for the stitched nested label dies. If you don't have them yet, you're definitely gonna wanna add them to your cart and go shopping right now. <laughs> um, these are only available while supplies last in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Um, so once they sell out, they will be gone and that will, that will be it. We will see no more of the stitched nested label dies. So let's dig in, are you ready? <laughs> I have to confess, even though I've made these go-to layouts before, um, the cards that I'm making tonight, I just kind of pulled stuff out at the last minute because it's just been so crazy. Um, and so I'm, I'm winging it a little bit as far as just making them on the fly. But these go-to layouts, like I said, are just so easy that you'll want to come and make them again and again and again. Okay, so for the first card, we're going to use some of the Flowers for Every Season designer paper. Um, this is another uh, last chance favorite. I love this paper. Um, it has 12 different designs. It's a six by six paper pack. Um, so 12 different designs and um, we made a calendar. Do you remember that? We did a calendar back in um, December. And so I used that paper pack and I used a different pattern for each month. So that was kind of fun. I love having that on my on my desk. So um, I'm gonna use it today. Let me show you really quick though, cause it's on sale, like super cheap, I think. Um, yeah, so it's almost, what is that? Like 40% off, 50% off, 1150, yeah, 50% off. 
no, 40. I don't know. <laughs> it's on sale. <laughs> uh, we're also going to use the ridiculously awesome stamp set. And this stamp set, while I'm not on sale, is retiring. And that makes me really sad. You guys may know this already. It's in the catalog. And if you watch other demonstrators, you're aware that um, sometimes, well, all the time, when demonstrators hit their $1 million career sales milestone, they get to help design a stamp set. And so this stamp set was designed designed um, in conjunction with Rhonda Wade's Million Dollar Achievement. And Sarah Douglas, who's the CEO of Stampin' Up! Her husband um, hand-lettered all of the stamps in this set. So I just love it. I think it's so special. Uh, many of you ask, so <laughs> I'm just going to say it right now. I'm still a couple years away from hitting my million. I'm getting close, but not close enough to be designing my stamp set quite yet. <laughs> you know, I, I have been thinking about it, though. Like, what would I want in a stamp set? And, like, I go back and forth, and I have a couple ideas, but, like, what... Um, Gosh, that just feels like such a such a big thing. So I would love to know. You leave me leave me a comment. And let me know what would you put in your stamp set if you could design your own stamp set or have some input and help in designing a stamp set. Meanwhile, I'm going to use this. You are my sunshine, and we're going to stamp. Now I couldn't decide on um I couldn't decide on colors. So you guys, maybe you'll have to help me vote really quick before you tell me about your dream stamp set. Um, so I've got three in colors. The one, the good thing about this, um, this paper flowers for every season, it coordinates with the, um, in colors. So I love that, right? So we've got magenta madness and just jade misty moonlight. And so I couldn't decide, oops, this is mixed up. I was going to do this one over here. I couldn't decide which of these, I liked. And I know you guys are just going to say, make them all. <laughs> and I probably will just end up doing that. But I want to know which is your favorite. Do you like this Magenta Madness or the Just Jade or the Misty Moonlight? I did remember to wet my chamois tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp for all of them. And then we can clean in between the colors. Thank you so much for sharing, Kay. I'm so glad you guys are joining me live. This is so much fun. I look forward to Thursday night every week, even when it's crazy busy and I think, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. You guys are always here and you tune in and I just, I love it. I love having the opportunity to share with you. All right. I'm seeing some answers rolling in. Janet says magenta and Nancy says just jade. Let's see. Um, oh, they skipped ahead. Carol says magenta. Michelle says jade. Um, Yolanda says Jade had some good sentiments. Yes, Joe, like definitely that is something on my list is I always talk about like the, the basic sentiments, right? And that's my dream stamp set is really something that's going to cover all those bases. Best wishes, thinking of you, thank you and happy birthday. Like they cover everything. Really two greetings. Thinking of you and best wishes covers every occasion on earth, right? Like you either want to wish somebody well or you're thinking of them like with sympathy or, you know, you want to get well soon or, you know, whatever. So I think those two sentiments cover every, everything. That's all you need. Thinking of you and best wishes and you can make a card for any occasion. Okay, I'm seeing... A lots of magenta. Oh, I got some misty moonlights finally. Yes. Okay. We're just going to make them all. So let's dig in. Oh, Patricia, you're so sweet. I, I really do look forward to this so much. Um, especially over the last year, it was kind of crazy, right? Like when we feel so disconnected, this is such a fun way to be connected. And so I'm so happy when you guys leave comments because I love to see your little conversations in the comments and you guys are talking with each other and saying hello to each other. And it just makes me so happy to know that you all have friends here at Julie's Stamping Spot. You guys are all, all connected together and I love it. Okay, I'm cleaning my stamp. <laughs> I need to get a new chamois. Like it's totally tearing apart. There's our first one in magenta. I did have a little ink mishap. Where's that? Uh, I hate this. <laughs> I, I have mixed luck with my ink eraser, sometimes or my sand eraser. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. 
I don't know it's gonna work tonight. I think I am shaking the whole camera too. Let's go ahead and skip to Just Jade. Oh, these ink pads are so nice and juicy still. Okay. You are my sunshine. How fun is the sentiment? Like this stamp set really is just a such a good one. Make today ridiculously awesome. That I think is my favorite of the stamps. It was a little big for our label tonight. So we're gonna stick with the sunshine. The other one that I just love is this one. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Yeah, yes, Carla, ink mistakes are perfect opportunities for embellishment. Okay, last color, we're going to do Misty Moonlight. And this just fits so perfectly on that label. Okay, quick clean, and then we're going to assemble our cards. I'm telling you, this card is so easy. And a couple years ago, I did just make it like over and over again with so many different, um, <laughs> so many different colors and cardstock. So let's get one of each of these. And these, we're gonna have to do something else and make another card. Um, Cause we're only going to use for this, we're only, you know, maybe we'll leave those out and do something. Okay, but I'm <laughs> getting sidetracked. Okay, so for these cards, we're going to do Stampin' Dimensionals on the um, designer paper layer. And you guys know I love my dimensionals. I really want to make sure that the whole frame is supported. So definitely use at least six. <laughs> I feel tempted to add more, but I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do the six for now. Um... Oh, you know what? I don't know that I wanted to do dimensionals on the frame. Well, let's do it both ways and we'll see since we're making more than one card. So we've got dimensionals on the frame. And this designer paper I cut to be um, three and three quarter inches by five inches. And then this in the middle, like, oh my gosh, it's so perfect. So these are two different sizes. This is a, one bigger, and then this is like the next size smaller. So here's what I can't decide. Um, so for this one, I've got dimensionals under the frame, and then I'm going to put the sentiment down with regular adhesive. So it's a little recessed. For the next one, I'm going to do the frame down with regular adhesive, and then we'll do the label with the sentiment with dimensionals. And you guys let me know which way you like it um, best. I, I mean, there's not a wrong way, right? You could use dimensionals under both, or you could use regular adhesive under both, because either way you're gonna have that, like, that, that border around it. So, I mean, there's not a, there's not a wrong way. Oh, yes. Now I got that song in my head, too. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. You all make me happy. When skies are gray or blue. Today was a beautiful day. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even get to enjoy it outside. I Oh, shush, puppies. Okay, so this one, the frame is popped up. This one, the sentiment is popped up. I think I like the sentiment popped up a little bit better. Um, but I mean, like I said, you can't go. You can't go wrong. You can make a whole set of these with this flowers for every season. Designer paper. Of course, you can use any designer paper that you have. And I know you guys have a lot of des <laughs> designer paper at home. Am I right? <laughs> No, oh, it's it's so easy to hoard that paper because it's so pretty, but you have to just cut it and use it. Love it, chop it, as Kylie says, um, and show it off. So this is a great way to show off some um, of your pretty designer paper because you get the little border like this, and then you get another one that you can use for a different card. So 
we were talking about maybe trying to come up with something. Oh, Bonnie, don't be a paper hoarder. <laughs> uh, so are you a paper hoarder because you don't want to cut it? Like you want to save all your, um, all your favorite patterns or like you're worried that if you use it, then you're going to come up with something, um, something else that you needed or want it for. And you're worried that you're not going to have it anymore. Why, why do we hoard paper? Not just Bonnie. Anyone can answer. <laughs> oh, yes. Janet says she uses her DSP. I feel like once you do it, then um, like once you start cutting your paper and getting into that like, you know, rhythm of cutting it, then it's easier um, to cut it and to use it. But um, sometimes we're just paralyzed, I think, by paralyzed by its beauty. <laughs> oh, all right. Now, n did anybody change their mind now seeing the finished card? Uh, or do you still like the same colors like you thought you would? These are really fun and springy. I'm excited. I'm going to send these cards um, in the mail. I, I did cut some insides. Oh, I, I guess I only cut two insides. Um, I should cut or I should... Um, you are my sunshine. I don't, I just want to add like some, something on the inside, maybe just some hearts. Um, I'm, you know, I'm trying to make a better effort about doing my insides. Um, especially like on darker cardstock, I want, um, I want my, my friends to be able to see what I'm writing. Um, hashtag eyes are getting too old. <laughs> um, so having a white inside makes it easier for your message to be seen and um, also gives you an opportunity to add some stamped images and sort of tie in the front. So I love this little heart. It kind of coordinates with that. You are my sunshine on the front. So I'm just going to add a couple hearts on the inside. And hearts are not just for Valentine's Day. You can use hearts any time of year for lots of occasions. When you're sending love, that is an occasion for a heart. Okay, there's one. It's a simple inside, but it's still an inside. I'm counting it. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm going to have to cut one for the green card later since I didn't prep that. Okay, there's our first card. I love it. Isn't this just so quick and easy? You guys, you need these stitched label dies so you can make this one because it's just... That's too good. Do we want to do something with this really quick before we put it away? What can we do that is quick? Let's get this back out. You know what else I'm super sad about? <laughs> like, I'm trying hard to be strong, but I'm super sad about these circle punches because I use them all the time. All the time. Why, Stampin' Up? Why? Why did you get rid of my punches? Usually it's because something is not selling. That's why they get rid of it. Uh, which I can't believe that would be the case. But it must be. So if you don't have the circle punches, your time is running out. We will still have circle dies, but that's just not the same. Hmm. I don't know. I think my circle is too big. <laughs> oh, it's too big, I feel like, for this. Um, too big for this label. I don't know. I'm not sure about this. Um... Circles and stitch. I know the stitched shape dies are also making me really sad as well. Um, like I, 
I don't know. I feel okay about the stitch shapes. I use them all the time, but I feel like I'm okay. It's the circle punches that are... You guys watch me. I use them like every week. Oh, all right. I'm not sure. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not feeling what I need to do here. So I'm going to just set this aside and I'm going to come back to it. So you'll have to watch on Facebook and I'll, I'll put it on my blog as well. I'll come up with something clever um, with these squares. We'll do something. We'll do something fun. And so you'll have to check back and see what I come up with. Sometimes I do okay on the fly and sometimes I just don't feel it. So that is what's happening right now. <laughs> okay, let's move on and make something else pretty with the stitched nested label dies. If you're just joining us, tonight's projects all feature the stitched nested label dies. There's the item number right there. You definitely want to write that down because these are going away. And you get, I don't know how many dies you get. Um, ba -ba -ba, nine. There's nine dies. So eight different shapes, or they're not different shapes, eight different sizes of the, the shape, label shape, and then you get the one straight stitching die there. Um, okay, next card. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Um, I made a whole bunch of these too. I love this layout. I was originally inspired by a card swap. See, there's those swaps again um, from one of my team members, Barb Hopper. And this was like a couple years ago and I was like obsessed with this layout and I made a whole bunch. Um, so tonight I'm going to be using the Artistry Blooms designer paper. Um, there are more patterns. I'm not sure what happened to them. <laughs> I've been using them a lot. That's what happened to them because this is one of those, uh, last chance product deals. The, um, Artistry Blooms designer paper. It's so bright and cheerful and fun. So this is, this is a really cool paper. And tonight you get kind of a sneak peek because the pattern that I'm using is this purple with a pink and like Flirty Flamingo is not quite right. In fact, I have a card right here with the Flirty Flamingo. And, like, it's it doesn't quite go with the pink in here, but you know what does? Check this out. This is the new polished pink. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It's, like, perfect. So I'm using polished pink with gorgeous grape and a piece of the Artistry Blooms designer paper. So let's get my extra pieces. I cut extras all the time. I don't know why. I guess I'm worried I'm going to mess up. <laughs> so let's get the extras out of the way. Um, all right. So let me go over measurements. I will put them in the description as well. This piece is five and a half inches wide by six and a half inches long. And I scored at four and a quarter. So it is like a regular card, like size, but it doesn't have a, a total, it doesn't go all the way. Um, so then this piece is two inches by five and a quarter, and that's going to fit in that front panel. And then this is the largest of the stitched shape dies. Do you guys remember this card? It has a little fun flap. So we're going to use a bone folder or a scoring tool the scoring blade on the paper trimmer to score here and fold that over or actually under and then this is going to be for the inside like that so that's kind of the base of our card do you guys remember this one this is another like super easy fun fold using these stitch labels like a, another go-to like I feel like over and over and over again I come back to um, the same layouts that I just love. So let's do some stamping. I'm going to use the butterfly gala, 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 gala. I don't know which one it is. Um, the butterfly stamp set. <laughs> this is in the annual catalog. It's retiring and it coordinates with the butterfly punch. So I thought we would give that one last hurrah. The punch is on sale. The stamp set is not, but you want to make sure to get them together because once the stamp set is retired, you won't be able to get the stamp set anymore. Here's the butterfly duet punch. Look at that. $18. Now it's $7.20. Like, that's crazy. If you like butterflies and you don't have this yet, the butterfly duet punch is a great way to make lots of butterflies super fast. So... We're going to stamp some butterflies. Let's do that first, and then we'll 
um, work on assembling the cards. So um, most of these stamps, there's one, two, three, four different variations. They have the big butterfly and the little butterfly together on one stamp. And that is really handy because when you punch them out, they punch out as um, a, a set. So to have the stamp automatically ready to line up with the punch is so smart. Um, they really, they really did good with that one. So I'm stamping. I don't know what I'm doing because I didn't design this card. I just, this is the part I'm winging. Um, I'm going to use some new polished pink and let's do um so this is kind of fun um there are these stamps that then color in the butterflies and so there's two parts so you can have like the top be pink and let me show you really quick and you guys can help me decide and maybe we'll use both of them um so you can have the top be pink and then you can have the bottom be pink as well or you can have it be a different color so we're gonna do a two-toned butterfly and we'll do um, a solid butterfly and then you guys can you can see which you like or maybe we'll use them both on our card um, oh Michelle says the French stamp set is on sale um, Yes. So that is another really great tip. I shared that I think last time too, there are several um, French stamp sets that um, are on sale. So some of them, the prices are so good that like it's worth just substituting out different, um, different sentiments, English sentiments to get the images. So um, I'm not sure what the French price is on this stamp set, but you might um, you might find that's a good option for you if you want to save some money and just watch the images. Or if you speak French, it's perfect. You can get these French stamp sets. Now, these the, the really great prices on the French stamp sets are in North America because we have extra inventory. That's when we get the low prices is when Stampin' Up! has extra inventory. And so I know in, um, in Europe, so the, you guys aren't having the same prices on the French stamp sets. So... Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish that um, I wish that you could have some of these awesome deals. But the reason that we have them is because we don't have many French speakers that are buying them here. Um, okay, here we go. So you know, Stampin' Up is all over the world. We have demonstrators and stampers in the United States, in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, over in Europe. We have um, Germany and France and England, the UK, and then um, the Netherlands. And oh my gosh, what's the other one? Oh, I'm sorry, Europe. Um, only U.S. customers can purchase from me. So I, um, I, besides making demonstrator friends over there, like I, I don't, um, I don't know a lot of, a lot of stampers. Oh, puppies don't mind. Um, okay. So I just did that fast while I was talking, but did you see how beautifully that punched out? Like it just lines right up and it punches them all out at the same time. Tell me, um, Carol, I don't think we have demonstrators in Iceland. Um, I don't think that that is a territory or a market that Stampin' Up! is in. Um, tell me, do you like the two-tone? Do you prefer the solid butterflies? Um, I, I'm not sure about, <laughs> I'm not sure about that, to be honest. I think I like the solid butterflies myself, but you guys tell me. Um, what do you like, uh, for these butterflies? Do you like them? Um, do you like them solid? You were kidding. <laughs> well, I want to go to Iceland. That's on my bucket list. I think it would be really awesome. It just looks so beautiful. All right. I'm coming back to this, um, this large label and I'm using the scoring blade. What I've done is I have lined up, um, right where it's starting with a slat the slant ends is where I'm going to score across. So I've got a piece like this. Um, and then this is going to be that flap. So like I said, I haven't really, um, 
I haven't planned this card. I don't know what it's going to look like other than the basic layout. So let's, let's see. It's like a surprise. <laughs> it's a fun surprise. If your designer paper has like um, an up or down pattern, like, you know, top or bottom, you would want to make sure that um, you're putting it on like it's a horizontal card. You know what though? It doesn't have to be a horizontal card. I have always made it as a horizontal card, but I just had the thought that, you know, it could be a vertical card. Oh, I kind of like that. One thing that I forgot to do, but that's okay, because I can peel it up a little bit, is you, <laughs> you can just wrap this over the top and then you have it in the back. If you don't want it to show, then you can add it so that it's underneath the... Um, underneath this middle layer. So I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of the flap and then we're gonna tuck it down so that it's, um, up, so that it's not gonna show on the back. Okay, so let's come, I'm gonna come right here and I'm lining it up just like inside the score line there. And then you might need some I'm going to add that adhesive there to stick that white layer down. I agree. I think the purple does look dark. Um, although, like, as it's drying, I feel like it's lightening up a little bit. Like, when I first stamped the solid purple, I thought, oh, my gosh, I can't even see the lines. But it is getting a little bit better. I see that you guys are saying to stamp it in a lighter purple. I am just not digging that two-tone. I don't know. I think instead I like two solid butterflies or maybe doing like um, like three, three butterflies. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? I know we have some gentlemen who are watching. While you were thinking about that, I'm going to add, um, we have little butterfly bodies. And so it's easier to stamp these after you punch them because you can see the space top to bottom where they're supposed to go. If you try to stamp before you punch, then if you if you didn't center it just right, then it's going to get cut off and you'll have like some extra like extra space. So even the little guy has um extra space for the body. And then we also have is there another little oh, this there we go. Um there's also a little antenna which you can stamp as well. So when we put them on here, we can stamp Isn't that fun? Oh, maybe I didn't want him to go there. <laughs> I should have, uh, <laughs> I should have figured out where I wanted to go before I did that. Okay, let's see. Bob says two butterflies. You don't like three? We always do things, um, thank you, Susan, thorax for the body. Um, we always do things in threes, but, oh, oh, two larger butterflies. Okay. So, like, the pink and the purple. Although I messed it up, so I might just cover up the first antenna. Like that, you think? We don't need little butterflies? Maybe we'll put the little ones on the inside. I kind of like that. Um, okay, so then uh, I have a sentiment here that's going to fit so perfectly. It says, the good things in life are better with you. Oh, you know what? That would make sense with two butterflies. The good things in life are better with you. And then we've got like two friends. Oh, they're friends. <laughs> okay um I think the two and then we're going to add 
like we're gonna put some maybe we'll do three in here like um dancing so like oh did i just smear what is that ah julie come on um the the three like dancing here will be covered up and so then when you open it isn't that cute let's do that let's do the three on the inside the two bigger ones on the outside that's good okay all right so let's figure out our antenna am i saying that right they're antenna right or are they something different you guys are always so good when i don't know what things are and you help me out I think this is a good positioning. I'm gonna add the um, butterflies with Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm gonna stamp the antenna. And then uh, let's cover this up before we ink something we don't want to ink. Do you guys have this bundle? Do you have this, the, um, what is it called? Oh, the Butterfly Gala? Gala. Um, this was, oh gosh, a few years ago that it came out and, uh, it was in the, the spring mini catalog and there were, there was designer paper, I feel like designer paper that matched around celebration. So super, super popular antenna. Yes. Thank you, Heather. Um, yeah, I love it. It's one, though, I have to say, like, I'm always trying to use currants. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> I, I stamped my antenna too high, and you can see the other antenna below it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to come down and cover that. And so I'm going to extend this with a marker. So let's grab that. Um, I have two. I think they're the same, though. Basic black. The regular markers have a fine tip, so I'm just going to add, like, I'm going to extend this down so that I can place him a little bit lower and cover up, <laughs> cover up my boo-boo. Okay, pink needs to go on top. Very good. Oh, I love this. These colors are just so happy. Aren't they so happy? Um, I'm going to do glue dots. I like glue dots for small stamped images like this. So it just makes it easy to get the glue where I want it to go. And then I can just peel it off. And makes it look like they're fluttering. I still have some room to write over here. So that's perfect. Maybe I should. Oh, oh. Why do I do that? Why do I do this to myself? I'm going to just come over a smidge so that it's a little more like diagonally because I realized that it's going to get covered up by the flap. I like that sort of diagonal better. Oh, Julie, stop. <laughs> stop messing with it. Okay. Love it. Oh my gosh, so much fun, right? Yes, 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 Susan. I'm so glad you're going to case this one. This little flat fold is just such an easy card. And I remember when I made it the first time, like I just made a whole bunch. I was using all kinds of designer papers. I made one with the golfer. I made one with the sailboat. I made one with a cat. I made one with a daisy. Like there's just so many, so many fun things you can put on the flap. So many different designer papers you can use. Okay, there's card number two, go-to layout that you're going to want to make over and over again with the stitched nested labels. So let's put this one aside and clean up our workspace. Our last project I need to do a little prep for 
because I I didn't I didn't get it ready. Um Okay, let's clean this off. That means you guys get to help me decide um what paper to use. Um so the next card we're going to use a smaller label for the sentiment and um this i love this layout we're gonna do three strips of paper oh you guys want to use something new i wasn't gonna do new but let's do new um hmm. um no maybe not new Trying to pull out some of my other retiring paper to see what we did. You see this one? This one's called Peony Garden. This one's so pretty. How have I not cut this? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So for the this card, whatever you decide to use. You're going to want to do or to have three different patterns. Um, and so maybe two that are less busy. I think we I think we would be better off using something that has a little more color. Um a little more color. Maybe something with the pets. Oh my gosh, do you guys like this paper? These pets are so cute. Um, let's see what we can make with the pets. No, oh, maybe that's going to be, see, this is my problem. I changed my mind over and over again. You know what I wanted to use? I'm going to grab it. This, there's a stamp set that I love. Um, I even started pulling it out. It's called Beautiful Friendship. Do you guys have this one? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I might have to just like stamp some with this stamp set before we go tonight because it's the black and white doesn't do it justice. It's so pretty. So let's grab out the hydrangea paper. Yeah. Okay. So this is, it's from the mini catalog. It's not retiring yet. We still have a couple more months. And I had a question about that. I need to respond. Um, the, the mini catalog where I had one out. The mini catalog is good from... Um, January through June, through the end of June. Okay, so this catalog is good through the end of June, June 30th. And then the annual catalog is what's starting right now. So like the hydrangea is in the mini catalog. You can find it in the back here. Um, beautiful, gorgeous paper. Um, this beautiful friendship stamp set is in the annual catalog and that's the one that is retiring. The, um, the annual catalog is retiring right now, but the mini catalog, you still have two more months. You have um, May and June after this month. So there's still two more months to get everything that's in here. And then um, there was supposed to be a new mini catalog that was going to start in July, but that one got pushed back a month because they're just having some inventory issues and they're trying to get stuff in and want to make sure that they can get things in without having like everything be on back order right away. So um, the next mini mini catalog will start in August instead of July. It is called the July through December mini catalog and it's just going to start one month late. So this paper is still good. You still have some time to get it if you don't have it yet um, and it's gorgeous. <laughs> Let's pick out some patterns for this card. We need like I said we need three patterns. Holy smokes that's gorgeous. Um, doo -doo -doo. I like the stripes and then I thought we had like a blue pattern. Yeah, right here. Oh, that's gonna be it, I think. Or maybe the purple. That's it, okay. So we want three patterns that coordinate and I find that having two subtle patterns and one pattern that's a little bit, um, like a little 
more intense is a good mix. So we're going to cut these to be one and a half inch wide. So I'm cutting one and a half inch strips from the designer paper. And these are six inches because that's what I've got them, but really like five inches is going to be enough. Oops, that was two inches. Let's go back. Okay, so three one and a half inch um, strips. And then um, we want a card base. Do we? Oh gosh. I, Misty Moonlight is this dark blue. I'm kind of digging that. What do you guys think of that? Um, the other option we have is like the Highland Heather. But I feel like that might just be too much purple. Yeah. I definitely like that contrast. Another option is... No, no. I, I think this is good. Do you guys like the Misty Moonlight? Um, yeah, I love this hydrangea paper. It's so beautiful. Um, I'm digging this. So we are going to... We're going to use this, I think, this combination. And then I'm going to do a label. I cut I cut some different sizes. I think this one's a little too small. Let's use that one. Um, yeah, blue looks good. Okay, give me, give me thumbs up or a heart. Um, so I was just reading your comment, Patty. I think I did get a card from you, and um, I feel like I showed it during mail call. It was it was like um maybe a month ago. Is that right, Patty? Um, it was a beautiful card. I thought I sent you a message too, and I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, okay, beautiful friendship. I think that's that's pretty. Um, so thank you again, Patty, for your card. Um, let's grab some, uh, I was going to say stamps. Um, <laughs> sometimes I can't multitask and talk at the same time. Let's grab some blocks and some ink pads. Highland Heather and Misty Moonlight. This is going to be so pretty. Let's get out um, grid paper. I like stamping right on the desk because it's just cleaner. It doesn't look so cluttered. But um, thank you, Susan, for reminding me about my grid paper. <laughs> Um, it is helpful to stamp with grid paper and we have several different designs of grid paper available in the online store. So if you like stamping with grid paper too, then you should check that out in the online store. I'm going to do a little bit. Um, I'm worried that's too dark. So I'm going to stamp again without re-inking on the second label, which you can hardly see. Okay, let's try... That's a little bit better and a little bit lighter. Um, and then we're going to do the sentiment in misty moonlight. I think the lighter one is better because you can see that sentiment a little better. Um, and you know what this needs? This easy card needs some ribbon. Let's get... The Misty Moonlight Ribbon. I am really sad about these in color ribbons. I thought we were going to have them a lot longer. Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, Cinnamon Cider, and there's the Magenta Madness and Bumblebee. All those in colors are going to carry over. So I'm not sure why they didn't carry the ribbon over. But the good news is that they're really cheap. 
So if you like these in colors and you like this ribbon, it is retiring and we've got some really awesome prices. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. Let's just do like a, um, just like a loop. I like a flat loop sometimes. Okay. Do you know where this card is going? Do you remember this one? Yes, yes, yes. We are going to use, um, you know what I'm going to get out? It's, I have to grab it on the table. Um, uh, uh oh, where is it? The oh, it's up here. Uh, oh, I'm dropping stuff. The tailored tag punch. No, not the tailored tag punch. I usually use the tailored tag punch. This is the triple banner punch, and it is retiring. Gosh, like this is just like a one last hurrah party. I feel like all these beautiful things that are going away. So the triple banner punch is designed to cut a banner tip on three different sizes. You've got the different tracks here for one inch, one and a half, which is the size we're using. So it fits perfectly and two inch. So, so quick and easy. You don't have to think about it. You just line it up in the track. And that's why I love that punch. I'm going to be sad that it's going away. So we're going to layer our banners here in the center. And um, I'm going to start with the, out, the, the bottom ones first. So those are going to be the lighter colors. And we're going to put this on with some regular adhesive. And I'm just going to evenly space them about, what is that, like a half inch or so from the sides. Um, so evenly spacing them from each side and then, well, I'll cut it off in a minute. And then the center one is going to kind of bridge and go in between. So let's add that. They are hanging over just a little bit. Oops, out of adhesive. Um, they are hanging over just a little bit. Um, and then I can trim them. If you started with the five inch piece, like you'd probably would only have to trim the middle one. Okay, so now we'll add our ribbon. And I'm just gonna kind of come at an angle like that. Love using the tear and tape to hold that ribbon down right across the middle. And then the label is going to go on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. So this easy layout will work with so many different papers, sentiments, stamp sets, like you could just do this with anything. Isn't that just so easy? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Tear it up. <laughs> oh, Julie, stop it. There we go. I just want to go a little higher on it. Make sure it's centered. I know some, you guys are probably just shaking your head because sometimes I move things like the most minuscule amount that you probably don't even notice. Um, I feel like we need some, I feel like we need some flowers and I am thinking of the die cuts that go with this. Let's grab that really quick. Sad. This is how much I haven't played with the Hydrangea Haven stamp set. This is the stamp set that goes with this paper in the mini catalog. I used a different one for this card. Um, I haven't even opened my dies yet, but inside the dies, there are these little flowers. 
Um, and so I think I want to just send that through and die cut a couple little flowers. Let's get Lucy up here. Come on, Luce. And we're gonna send this through. I'm using Highland Heather, which is the color that I stamped the bigger flower in. Get that paper out of the way. So this is one long die, but look how it cuts. All those flowers are individual. Isn't that really cool? So you don't have to mess with like little tiny dies that then you're gonna lose, <clears throat> like the bow tie. <laughs> One long die will cut out all those little flowers. So perfect, now we can just add a couple flowers. What do you think about that? Is that pretty? I think I like it. I think we need some pearls. Some little pearls on there. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, tell me though, and I know you guys are like always divided on this. We always say threes, but sometimes twos just like look better. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe even just one. I knew you guys were gonna be divided. <laughs> oh, and this flower looks like it got cut off. So let's transfer that pearl to something else. Can you see the detail on these die cut flowers? Like there's, let me move the pearl. Like there's some really fun kind of like embossing, like that the detail comes through. I love that. Okay, um, I'm seeing a lot of threes. Um, confetti, yes! <laughs> I will have to cut out some more of those flowers for confetti, Janet. You're always so good at the confetti. I. <laughs> I'm going to send you a card with so much confetti. Okay, do we like three? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Kimberly, you've got on tour tonight. That's so exciting. I was just thinking about on tour and wondering if there were still any going on. There was something that I just thought of that I loved from on tour. Uh, and now it left my mind again. <laughs> so I'll just share it another time. Well, I can't share it. Uh, right now since on tours are still going on um okay you guys i'm seeing a lot of three but some of you are saying just one and just two i feel like one is not 
quite enough. I mean, you could do one, but I feel like it wants more. So there's two, and these glue dots are really big. The thing I struggle with this one on the left is, like, I feel like the spacing isn't right. Mary says needs balance on the left. Does that do it? Does that give it the balance, do you think? Put some on the white that you're going to put inside. Um, yeah, what do we have that we could... Love our beautiful, so happy to know you. Um, we definitely want to stamp some more on this inside. So let's do... Um, So happy to know you. And then let's do some stamping of that um, hydrangea from Beautiful Friendship. So let's cut a piece. My standard for inside is four inches by five and a quarter, which is like, you know, just a quarter inch off the size of the card front. So that is a good rule of thumb. Oh, we need our, um, our scrap paper back. So we can scrap stamp rather off the side. And this needs a little bit of, um, I think this needs some leaves. Although, like, these leaves are really, really small, aren't they? But that's perfect. Oh, that's so pretty. This beautiful friendship is really a beautiful, a beautiful stamp set. It has like the, um, the flowers just sort of have like some dimension to it. So they're not like totally solid. So you kind of get like a watercolor look. Okay. I think this is our finished card. And then, um, here's that fun little... Let's do one more row of confetti and then we can put the loose flowers like in the card for like when, when they, they open up, they'll get that fun little surprise. I love this die. I'm so glad I opened that tonight. had some that got cut off but those all look good so this is just gonna go loose <laughs> and then when they open it up they have that fun surprise yay I love it I love our beautiful friendship okay oh how are we doing on time we made some fun cards I'm gonna show you the cards really quick and then um oh gosh and it's well over an hour um, maybe I'll just stamp really quick that beautiful friendship and do some note cards because it's so pretty. But here's the cards that we made tonight. We were focused on the stitched nested label dies. 
And so I showed you three go-to easy cards. You're definitely gonna wanna make these, whether you're using butterflies or hydrangeas or flowers or just some beautiful DSP and a fun sentiment stamp set. You can use these stitch nested label dies in so many different ways. And so I hope that you enjoyed these project ideas and that it gave you something fun um, to think about and to, to copy in your own stamp room. So let's show, let's do that beautiful friendship set. This is what we used for the last card and these, oh, they already fell out. Get back in there. <laughs> um, this beautiful friendship set is so pretty. Um, I'm just going to do some stamping to show off some of these other flowers. And I, there was a card I made. I remember it was so like, so clean and simple. <laughs> stamp is like neon photopolymer does stain a little bit but um it still stamps just the same even even though it's stained so let's do um this is like the the bonus right like <laughs> when you go watch a movie there's like you know the uh the deleted scenes or you know the the, the spoofs at the end of the credits. We did our credits and now this is, <laughs> this is like the bonus, bonus feature tonight. Um, oh, do we want to use the stitched labels? Like, let's just die cut a big one really quick and then we can stamp on it. Sorry, I'm off camera for that. My, my big machine is on the floor. I didn't want to grab it up and bring it over. Um, okay, so colors, colors, colors. Um, some of my favorites are these colors that I use today for the Stamp Club projects. Petal pink. Oh gosh, what happened there? You can hardly see that. Guess I need to re-ink. Okay. <sighs> Calypso coral. Look how pretty that stamps. Oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous. I'm gonna add some leaves. Some yellow flowers. Oh, I love it. And then I thought I had another. Um, let's add one more color. <laughs> that one's so neon. <gasps> um, Highland Heather. Where did that one go? That's really so pretty. This is beautiful friendship. Here is the, the stamp set. This one is retiring, guys. If you love the look of this, you have to get it now. It's going to go away, and then you're going to be so sad that you won't be able to get it. Don't miss out on this. It's beautiful. I wasn't going to make another card, but like, I'm inspired now. Let's... Okay, what do we do about the words? Do we want to stamp them on the... 
What do we have in here? So happy to know you. We've got that out. Oh, a very big congratulations. Let's just use all the stamps. Melanie, you only used it once. What are you waiting for? Look how so beautiful. I want to do something dark. I'm going to do blackberry. Oh. Aren't you guys loving it? I feel like we don't even need to like go fancy on this. Like it's just perfect the way it is. So let's just add, let's cut some designer paper. I'm gonna do full on here. I'm gonna just do four and a quarter by five and a half. Just cover the whole thing. And for the card base, let's do the um, thick, right? The, the thick basic white. That's a good option for a card base because it's um, sturdier. So I'm just scoring down the middle. I always score my cardstock before I I cut it, and then I got two card bases. We'll save one for later. I am such a clean and simple stamper, but I've, I'm starting to, like, want to add things and dress things up a little bit more. But this one, I feel like the stamps just sing. I don't want to do anything else. Like, isn't that just beautiful on its own? Do you guys think it needs anything? What would, what would you even add? Like vellum? That doesn't really add anything. No, I think just stampin' dimensionals. I'm not seeing anything. Are you guys... You have masks in the, oh yeah, because this, I, I did over stamping, so masks would have been good. I just was being quick about it, but even with the overlapping, I don't know, I don't think it's terrible. Um, but masking is a good technique with this stamp set for sure. All right, you guys are saying it's pretty on its own, beautiful as is. Jamie totally could add some pearls. Um, I always feel stuck on those pearls though, like where to stick them. I don't know that I like it. I, I feel like it takes away from the, um, from the stamp. Maybe a cluster. That kind of like brings your eye to the sentiment, but I don't even know if I like that. Pastel pearls. Those are really pretty, the pastel pearls. They're big though. They're really chunky. Um, I'm trying to remember where I put them. I just had them out recently. Yep, right here. Here's the pastel pearls. See how big and chunky they are? I don't know. I don't think. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the pearls off, but. There are lots of pearl options. If you make this card at home, you can add and customize just the way you like it. I love that. I love that we can, right, make it our own. And so I hope that you love the ideas tonight and that you will try them out and make them at home and make them your own. Like, I can't wait to see 
what you do with these stitched nested label dies with the beautiful friendship stamp set. Um, I can't wait for you to share. So please, 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 if you try any of these ideas with the stitch nested label dies, share them on Julie's Stamping Spot Share and Connect group. I would love to see how I've inspired you and I'd love to see the artwork that you create. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. We went a little extra long, <laughs> but I hope that you enjoyed stamping with me as much as I enjoyed sharing with you. Join me next week on Thursday, 7, 10 p.m. Central Time right here on Facebook. Um, and hopefully in the meantime, I'll get some quick look videos and some more sneak peeks of stuff from the new catalog because that is starting very soon. So make sure you get all of your last chance favorites in my online store, juliedavison.com slash shop. If you use that host code, you'll get a free project kit when you when you order $40 or more before tax and shipping. U.S. only. Um, everybody else can't purchase from me anyway, so that's why. Hmm. Um, but so many great deals. Don't miss out. Thank you guys again. Have a wonderful night and a happy weekend. I'll catch you later. Bye.